That's four diamond players today. I mean, Jesus Christ, this is the best luck I've ever had. Green, wait, that, this is going to be an enormous week for MLB The Show 22 as the second featured program comes out this week. But before that, we started off with a bang as we get three new diamonds, all three which are pitchers, and two of them you can get for absolutely free. It all starts in the pitcher's playground. It ends April 29th, so when that second featured program drops, that's when this event ends. You can use basically any hitters and any pitchers as long as the minimum overall of those players are a 60 overall, and then your entire team together is an 88 overall in terms of maximum all-star difficulty three inning games the reward path up until bob gibson is greg maddox bob gibson one standard pack five thousand stubs ten thousand experience a set five and a set six headliner 88 overall greg maddox is going to play above his attributes he did it last year and i expect him to do it again this year he has that sinker and cutter so he already has two of the meta fastballs that you want your pitcher to have he doesn't have a high hit per nine at an 83 but it's still doable especially in the early stages of the game where we don't have a ton of hitters with great contact and great power at the same time the only disappointment this card brings is having a circle change and a curveball because it has no horizontal off-speed pitch movements so both of them are vertical and you're usually not too happy about that because as a hitter it's easier to go ahead and sit back on an off-speed movement pitch if you know it's always going to drop instead of ever moving away from you. Bob Gibson should be a usable diamond starting pitcher he has that fastball coming in at 97 if you look at his quirks he does not have outlier so that is one downside but we're still happy at a 97 fastball that's gonna clock in at 100 sometimes he throws a sinker so he throws one of the meta fastballs but what we're really happy about is the fact he has a slider a curveball and a changeup so he has two off-speed pitches that move vertically but the biggest difference between him and Greg Maddox is that these two off-speed pitches they go ahead and have great speed differentials he throws the changeup at 87 and he throws the curveball at 81 so it's gonna be a lot more harder for your opponent to sit back and time that off-speed pitch especially because he also throws a slider and that slider is another off-speed pitch that's going to come horizontally so it's always going to keep your opponent guessing support the channel for free by hitting that like button or subscribe button notification bell we stream on twitch at 10 p.m eastern links for the twitch and discord inside the description 92 overall dennis eckersley is going to be featured inside set eight headliners now you might not be too intrigued by his arsenal of having a slider sinker four seam and you might not be too intrigued by his 86 hit per nine but one thing i do have to remind you is that ennis eckersley is usually one of the best bullpen arms to have inside this game despite him not having a great arsenal and it's all because of his delivery he has a very weird motion that makes it a nightmare for righties to hit and lefties it should be a little bit easier to hit but still with the pitches that he throws you're gonna have to continually guess whether it's gonna be a sinker or a slider since the since the pitch speed differentials aren't too great so definitely a bullpen arm that you're gonna see a lot 29th we're gonna be getting the second featured program that's gonna feature five bosses in which we're gonna be able to obtain two it's gonna be the first roster attribute upgrade so that's gonna be fun as well as a new event coming in and new uniform most likely gonna be that Kansas City's new uniform and tops now as well and then the second we're getting ranked seasons rewards now it's time for the juicy part we got ourselves 40 standard packs to go ahead and open up Hopefully inside of these packs, we can go ahead and find ourselves something we can at least smile about. All right, I was giving it the silent treatment until I saw blue. I finally saw blue and I'm a little bit happier. Let's see who this diamond is going to be. So purple lights, 100% purple lights, Yankees, it's Garrett Cole. I think Judge is a 90. So yes, it's gonna be Garrett Cole. I'm happy with it. He might be getting a downgrade inside the roster update, but I'm happy with it. Cole sells for 25K sell now. That's actually a really good price for me to go ahead and sell him off at if I were looking to sell him off. Now, if you're wondering how I got these 40 standard packs, I made a video on how to go ahead and get the hidden packs and hidden stubs inside the game. Basically, there are a ton of collections that you do not need to complete the entire collection to go ahead and get rewards from. And that is basically where we got the majority of these packs, which turn out to be extremely juiced as we get ourselves the second diamond. This one is going to have blue lights. 
I, I, I mean, it looked like blue lights to me. It seems like it's purple at the end of the day. But it, wait, it was actually blue. Okay, I'm not colorblind. I'm not colorblind despite what most people think. We get ourselves Billy Wagner. We already have one of his. So we're just going to hold on to this one until a big collection comes out. Once a big collection comes out, that's when we're going to go ahead and sell them off for probably a much better price. We get ourselves a diamond uniform. So that's like three diamonds so far inside this pack opening. This might be just through standard packs alone. One of the best pack openings we had. But like I said, I'm going to go back to giving it the silent treatment in hopes that something comes through or as a matter of fact, I was talking last time, and that's when something came through. If I give it the silent treatment, I'm afraid nothing is going to come out again. So, once it gets to 15, I'll do the silent treatment for like 5 packs. And uh, we're just going to have to hope to be lucky. I know also you can open it up by square, but I like going through each single card. It adds not anxiety it adds like suspense that's what i was trying to say all right we're about to give this silent treatment silent treatment it is come on Listen, if we don't get anything else out of these packs, there's nothing for me to complain about. Getting three diamonds out of these packs are amazing. And you might be saying to yourself, well, you only got two diamond players. Yeah, but I got that diamond uniform as well. And how often do you get that diamond uniform? With that diamond uniform and then whatever was inside that pack, I'm pretty sure I could have scavenged about 1.5k stubs and had been able to buy myself another standard pack at least. And how many times out of the standard packs do you at least break even? Not a lot. So I'm happy with the outcome, at least for now. Two packs left out of 40 packs, three diamonds. The odds definitely were in our favor. Now, bowling is a habit, bowling is a gold. Everybody knows the deal here. You never get yourself diamonds out of bowling is a gold. Harrison Bader, that's cool. We got ourselves Yadier and Molina, so clearly it wants us to do the Cardinals collection. And we get ourselves the Toronto Blue Jays next so the birds that's all I can say got ourselves a silver out of that pack inside set three it was Kenny Lofton we already pulled Kenny Lofton so don't really need him the birds just keep coming at us set four is going to have Mariano Rivera we did not pull Mariano Rivera though and we might have actually just went ahead and pulled Mariano Rivera so that's the third diamond player we've gotten today Purple lights, 100%. Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw? Maybe? It's going to be Max Muncy. Okay. Max Muncy is cool, too. Definitely not someone I can complain about. Set 5, Dennis Eckersley. These are basically... That's four diamond players today. I mean... Jesus Christ. This is the best luck I've ever had. Green... Wait, that... Yo, that is crazy. I don't even care about Dennis Eckersley. At this point, like... Uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> A, 
Hey man, hey, hey man, hey man, hey man, stop it, we do this.